Color grading is difficult, but there's a solution. I call it the cheat code for color grading. You might as well call it stealing because basically we are going to be stealing color from another image and applying this to our own image. Let's jump right into it. Now, before we get started, you are going to be needing the Touch of Me Color Match Photoshop plugin to do this. And the first thing to consider if you want to steal or copy color from another image and paste it into your own image, make sure the image you're actually stealing the color from is actually similar to your own image in terms of lighting or the environment or the mood of the image. That goes a long way. Alright, once you go your image inside of Photoshop, just press on Ctrl J to duplicate the layer. Once you duplicate the layer, come to your filter right here. Once you open your filter, come to Retouch On Me and click on Retouch On Me Color Match right here. And I believe you know you can get the Retouch On Me plugin in the description below of this video. Alright. Now once that load, we have the blending option which you can use to blend the color. We have the load reference where you are going to be loading the image you are going to be stealing the color from. And also we have the luminance which is brightness. We have the color right here. We have the smoothing right here. We also have the lot manager. I'm going to be explaining that. And we also have the blend right here. And we have the export lot which is you can actually save any color grading you do from here as a color lookup table and apply it inside of Photoshop. All right. Now, the first thing I'm going to do, let's just bring the image we're going to be copying the color from. So click on load reference right here. And we're going to be using this image right here. Click on load. And you can see it has loaded that image. So it has basically copied the color of this reference image and apply it to your own image. So this is the before. And this is the after you can see right now the image is looking kind of dark it's because it takes the brightness of this reference image and apply it to your image now if you want to keep the brightness of your image just come to your luminance and just take it all the way to zero percent me personally i like to leave my luminance on zero so this is the before and this is the after and also i feel the color is looking too strong so just come to your color and bring it all the way down to 50 or 52 50 works for me like so all right so just put your slider and see which one works for you. 53 works for me. So this is the before and this is the after. And for the smoothing, 100 is good, but I'm going to leave it at 60. So it varies from image to image. So like this works for me. So this is the before and this is the after. Now for the blending, you can choose to take the blending up if you want, like so, to blend it even more. So this is the before and this is the after. You can see it has increased the intensity. But I'm going to take it all the way down a little bit like this. Like this works for me, 110. But if I take it all the way down to about um, 23, you can see it's giving it's giving us back our own original image. So I think 110 works for me, like so. And you can actually take this to the advanced level by actually applying the color grading to a specific part of your image. And we're going to get to that in a bit. And also, I'm also going to show you how you can actually export it as a lot to apply it later inside of Photoshop. And also how this Lots Manager works. But for now, let's just click on Apply right here. So this is the before. And this is the after. Let's use this image right here as another example. So just press on Ctrl J, duplicate your background layer, come to your filter, come to your retouch on me, and click on color match right here. Now, once you click on color match, just click on load reference right here. And you can select any reference you want. So let's load this one and see. Up open. Alright, so this is the before and the after. The before and the after looking good. Let's take the blend up. Let's see. All right, looking good. Wow. This is the before and this is the after. The before and the after. Let's try one more. So, remove this reference. Pick another reference. Let's use this one right here. Click on apply. Uh, I don't really don't like this. So, this is the before and this is the after. So, let's take the blend down. Let's see. All right. This is before and this is the after. This doesn't work for this image right here. So, let's use another one and see okay uh, let's try this all right this works this is the before and the after the before and the after but i prefer the first one let's go back to the first one the first one work works really 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 well all right so this is it and click on open i'm just going to apply i like this one i'm going to take the blend up like this so like this works for me this is the before and this is the after the before in the after so to save this color as a lot and apply it later inside of photoshop just click on a spot lot right here and just i'm going to rename this one as car and just name it and just put it inside my picture folder so that i can see it later and just click on save and it's just going to save as 3d lot for this lot manager 
if i just click on it and try to open it you need the internet connection before the slot manager can actually works now the lot manager is like a filter where you can see different color grading and you can apply it to your own image so if it's loaded, you're going to see different pattern of color grading you can just apply any one to your own image if you have the internet connection now that's for the loss manager i really don't use it so i'm going to click on apply right here so let's see the before and after of this color grading so this is the before and this is the after so i'm going to hide this one right here and once i hide it i'm not going to apply that lot we created so i'm going to press on ctrl j remember we created the lot earlier so let me apply that color lookup table so i come to my adjustment layer click on color lookup table click on low 3 d lot click on low 3 d lot again and look at the um, color grading right here this car cube and click on load i'm just going to apply that color grading as a lot inside of photoshop so if i just zoom in you can see this is the before and the after the before and the after so this for the lot and this one above right here let me just hide this layer why this one above right here is for the retouch on me the before and the after now let me show you how i can actually apply color grading to a specific part of your image this is the advanced method now let's come back to this image right here let me just delete this layer press on ctrl j come back to my filter again come to retouch on me and click on color match right here all right now i'm just going to load my reference image again click on load reference right here all right click on open i'm just going to open and you can see i like this color for the background but i really don't like it on the subject so what i can do i can just reduce the blend a little bit like so so right now i'm focusing just on the background so that this works for me then i'm going to click on apply so once i click on apply it's just going to open inside of photoshop like this now i'm just going to remove it from the subject and to do that i'm going to create a mask so i'm going to click on any selection tool and just click on select subjects i'm just going to select the subject for me i'm going to work on my selection and make sure my selection is accurate okay and i'm going to do the same thing for the hair all right so now this works for me and i'm going to inverse the mask by pressing on ctrl shift i to invert the mask now with my background layer selected i'm going to right click click on feather and just feather it with about 20 to make the edges smooth and just add a layer mask and remove it from my subject so you can see right now the color grading is only on the background and it's not on my subject so this is the before and the after the before and the after now i'm just going to apply a different color grading to my subject now i'm going to create a stamp visible layer by pressing on ctrl shift alternate e to create a stamp visible layer come back to filter come to retouch on me and click on retouch on me color match right here and once that open i'll come back to my load reference again and just look for any color i want for the mid tones or the skin to rather let me click this one and see uh, i think this one is too much let me take the blend down a little bit and see okay i think i like this one for the skin tone i'm going to click on apply again right here so this is the before and the after the before and the after so what i can do i can just reduce the opacity a little bit i think i like it like this already i don't need to remove it from the uh, background i think i like it like this the before and the after but if you want to remove it from the background all you have to do is just bring back the selection so hold control and click on the selection to bring back the selection and just invert the selection by pressing on ctrl shift i this time while the subject is selected just apply a layer mask right here i'm just going to remove it from the background and apply it only on the subject so we have our color grading for the subject the before and the after and we have our color grading for the background the before and the after like that so let me just group it so you can see the before and the after of this color grading so this is the before and the after the before and the after you can see we have that cinematic color grading and what you can do you can just come here and just reduce the opacity overall opacity of both if you feel it's too much i'm going to re reduce the opacity a little bit like this and yeah, this works for me so this is the before and the after the before and the after now that i've shared the cheat i use for color grading i also share the technique i use to retouch all my image in this video show right here click here to watch that video i'll see you guys in my next one stay creative